drum. <laughs> hey, there's officially less than one month to file your federal income taxes. Andrea Chalupa is an editor for WalletPop.com. She joins us from New York City to make sure you get all the breaks this year. And thank you so much for joining us, Andrea. Thank you for having me. Andrea, it's good to talk to you. We're going to hit taxes in just a sec, but tell us a little bit about WalletPop.com first. Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It is a fun personal finance site. We like to say we put the pop in your wallet. Uh, we cover everything from tax forms that you need to really fun money stories. For instance, I did an exclusive story in Seattle on what is possibly the best find on Craigslist. A group of artists who are living in a mansion on Puget Sound paying $650 a month each. And we got great video there. So Wallet Pop covers everything having to do with the economy and your money. We make it as fun as possible for you. Okay, well speaking of money, how do we get as many breaks as possible and maximize our tax refund? Well, the clock is ticking, so you have one month left. Um, the trick to getting a great refund is keeping great records in the first place. And you can do that by, you know, having your Tupperware box, your shoe box, and just throwing all your receipts there at the end of the day when you come home from work, just clear out your wallet. And anything you did that was business related that you're not getting reimbursed for by work, just throw it in there. Uh, another thing I like to do is I send myself emails anytime I do anything that can be um, deductible in my taxes. And I have a email, I'm sorry, a taxes folder in my email. So I, I label it there. So, you so don't do whatever have, works for your lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. So you don't get stuck with that shoebox full of stuff that you just get stuck with at the end of the mm. year. Hey, what about the first time uh, home buyer credit? How does that work and when does that program expire? The program expires. You have to close on your house by June 30th, 2010. And that is for first time home buyers. And that, of course, includes houses, uh, condos, and such. And if you're married and you want to you want to do this credit, your spouse also has to be a first time home buyer. And there's also a credit for repeat home buyers, and that's a uh, six hundred six hundred thousand five hundred. But again, for the first time home buyer, the credit is up to eight thousand. Okay. So, what are some other little known write offs that can save us money? Well, the rule of thumb is if it helps you make money, if it's for your business or trade and you're not getting reimbursed for it, then you can write it off. And, and this includes magazine subscriptions to help you stay ahead in your field. If you take any courses uh, to help you advance in your career, again, books, same thing. Um, yeah. Travel, but there are restrictions. You can't, of course, deduct your daily commute, unfortunately. Darn. And also, if you were job hunting, important thing I want to point out to people, if you're job hunting in 2009, you have expenses that you can deduct there. If you paid for a career coach, uh, postage to mail out your resume, or any printing you did on your resume, you can deduct those things. But it's only if you're searching for a job within your career. If you're switching careers, or you've been out of the workforce for a substantial amount of time, or you're a first-time job hunter, it doesn't imply. Wow, that gets kind of tricky to keep mm. track of all that. Yeah. So, Andre, is it's it the possible? the IRS. They make it easy yeah, for you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> job security security for those guys. Hey, Andrea, is it possible for somebody to take steps to make sure they don't get audited? Well, that's that's the big scare. And if you do get audited, keep in mind the IRS will need to see receipts. They love receipts, so that's more incentive to hold on to those guys, even in this digital age. So in, in order to avoid an audit, you just have to be careful. What they're looking for is anything that changed significantly, uh, anything out of pattern with your regular returns. And they have a, a great automated system to, fl to, for, to look out for any red flags. So just be very careful. Check your records. Be good at math. And don't be afraid of going to a tax preparer. You can write off the expense of a tax preparer. Well, Andrea, it's good advice for those of us who haven't filed yet. So thanks so much, mm -hmm. Andrea Chalupa. Thank you so much. You've one month left. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, thanks for the reminder. Okay, we've got some breaking news right now. This is uh, another pretty serious.